Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, short presentation on printed and flexible sensors. My name is Guillaume Chancin and I'm uh, an analyst at ID Tech X. So the reason I want to talk about this subject is because uh, I recently uh, published a new report called Printed and Flexible Sensors 2015-2025. So this is uh, uh, a product from ID Tech X, and uh, uh, this is a report that is really useful if you want to save months of research and really get a good overview of all the technologies and applications and, and also be able to identify all the key players in this field. So we've got a listing of over 80 companies and uh, included in this report there's a, there are 23 detailed uh, company profiles. Uh, so information you can check our website so um, first of all uh, printed electronics is a disruptive technology and um, as you can see on the screen uh, unlike the typical silicon chips that, uh, that are made with conventional electronics printed electronics allow you to uh, create components that are flexible and robust and over a large area. And all this is because of the use of new materials that are specially designed for this, um, for this technology. And because these materials can be processed at low temperature, they can be printed on, on uh, plastic foils as well as textile or paper. Of course, um, printing is not, is not something new in the world of sensors. In fact, uh, there's a process called thick film which has been around in the sensors industry for a very long time and uh, a lot of the thick film sensors are based on uh, ceramic materials um, which are screen printed on substrate and then sintered at very high temperature. Typically we're talking about a temperature which is above 800 degrees um, and sometimes even more. Um, but the new generation of printed electronic sensors uh, are based on low temperature processes and therefore it is possible to create a new generation of components that are flexible, lightweight and robust. So we have uh, researched all the technologies around and, uh, and we can categorize uh, all the printed sensors in eight distinct categories uh, as you can see on the screen. Um, so uh, biosensors, capacitive sensors, piezoresistive sensors, which is a form of uh, uh, sensor for detecting force or pressure, piezoelectric sensors, photodetectors, temperature sensors, humidity sensors, and gas sensors. Um, one of the most common uh, type of printing sensors um, is the printed glucose test strip. And as you can see on screen, this is a type of uh, uh, disposable sensor and it's really small and it's a small strip uh, based on conductive, uh, um, conductive ink and some enzymes that are printed uh, directly on the electrodes. So this is used for uh, the treatment of diabetes and uh, uh, it is the business model for this is a disposable sensor which is then used in a portable reader as, as you can see in the picture on the right. But of course, uh, uh, you know, there are new uh, form and new, a lot of research being done now to improve um, this technology and um, for example at the uh, University of California, San Diego, um, they have recently shown that you could potentially uh, have this sensor directly on your skin. So again, another printed sensor, but based on a slightly different uh, uh, form factor. So of course, um, everybody's talking about wearable, uh, wearable devices, and, uh, and you can use printed sensors to create some new innovative uh, uh, wearable devices. So I've just shown two examples here on screen. Uh, the first one is uh, able to uh, analyze sweat and, and measure the le level of lactate in the sweat. 
and the second one is a gas sensor, which, uh, depending on the sensor you put on, on, the, on the device, will be able to um, alert you if you are in presence of uh, um, a dangerous gas. So we have uh, uh, looked extensively in the market and uh, we have market forecasts for all eight categories of sensors. So um, if you are interested in, in this data, uh, please check our website idtechx.com slash sensors. And uh, if you are really interested in seeing those printed sensors and, and be able to talk to the companies manufacturing them, um, you can uh, visit our events. We have uh, three events uh, that are scheduled for this year. And I, w I just want to show you some of the things that I have seen personally on the trade shows uh, and, and to give you an idea about what you can find if you come and visit our events. For example, uh, um, this is a picture I took uh, in the, inside the trade show at Printed Electronics USA. And this is the first flexible image sensor um, based on Printed Electronics. And this particular device can be uh, used for making uh, x-ray detectors. These are other concepts uh, um, that I found. Uh, the first one here is uh, an overhead console ins for a car interior and uh, it's based on capacitive sensors and, uh, and the second one is a uh, floor mat which is able to uh, map uh, pressure uh, based on who is standing on the on so you can find other other applications like this, um, that, like this um, capacitive film, which is a, can be integrated uh, into various products to make uh, uh, to enable touch in in a lot of different surfaces. And uh, for example, here's a um, uh, temperature sensor, which uh, uh, is very flexible, and this technology has actually uh, been used inside the first fully integrated sensor label which was demonstrated by Thin Film. So if you're interested in that particular uh, technology you can check the video on YouTube. And uh, this is a biometric humidity sensor and again you can check the demonstration on our YouTube channel uh, but it is a very new technology based on carbon nanotubes and uh, this was uh, demonstrated uh, last year. So whether it is for research, consulting or events, uh, we can help you um, understand emerging technologies and we can support your strategic business decisions. So um, please check our website to uh, learn more and thank you for listening.